All right, we're back. Woo! Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. So yeah, talking about new movie Cross Spider Verse, very cool, uh, very poggers. Um, what was that word? It wasn't that good. Ah, you thought it wasn't that good. We're talking about uh, Spider Man uh, Cross the Spider Verse. You just said it wasn't that good. Why not? I mean, it was good, kind of. <laughs> kind of. Not really. Why? Why wasn't it good? What you wasn't explain. good? About it? Me explain. Yeah. Well. Um, the movie is an animated film, and an animated film to be more oh, than... spoilers. Oh, thank you. Spoilers. Big spoilers for this. Um, an animated film usually is an hour and a half, you know, and, and, and that's pretty good pace and, and enough subject and enough substance for an animated film in an hour and a half. Yeah, but it was two hours and 20 minutes. Two hours and 20 minutes, and it felt... Two hours and twenty. Nah, I felt short. Minutes. You thought it felt short? It felt short. Really? Yeah. Woo! I felt every two hours and twenty minutes. I mean, it's beautiful. The animation is beautiful. Yeah. It, that's some really cool stuff. Yeah. I really, really liked the vulture. How it looked kind of paper mache. Uh, one of the first villains that they fight, um, and it looked really cool. And I liked the different worlds, the different universes we were in, and the little style of animation was a little bit different. I um I like that visually it was very very beautiful uh, but it was really long and we'll just get right to the point unsatisfying why uh the ending was terrible it, it said to be continued in a 2 hour and 20 minute movie 2 hours and 20 minutes and for it's a cliffhanger. A, it's a, for a cliffhanger now i remember a long time ago you know maybe even a year ago when the marketing came out it did say Part one. I remember that. They were on the poster or something. It said part one. But they had since taken that off of it. And in the trailers and the marketing, there was no more part one. So I thought, okay, maybe they just made one big movie. But apparently not. Because there's a big diff to be continued. And that's not a... It, th this story doesn't wrap up. The main story, none of the stories wrap up in a cohesive way. It's just... Cliffhanger. Here we go. And okay. That's well, it. like, I know that there's cliffhangers in, like, in, like, Marvel movies. Like, Avengers Endgame. No, Avengers Infinity War. And then, like, Iron Man and mm -hmm. Thor and stuff like that. But those movies aren't two hours and 20 minutes. They're one hour and 50 minutes at most. Maybe two hours. Yeah. But they're not two hours and 20 minutes. Also, they're not animated. And they're not, like, flashy that hurts your brain. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, I agree. There were some moments that kind of hurt my Marvel. brain. They want money. Yeah. So they're going to make you go to another movie. Now, I wasn't the biggest fan of a, the Into the Spider-Verse, the first one. I thought it was good. A lot of people think it's the greatest Spider-Man movie, and it's no, amazing. No, it's not. It's not. It was, it was good. Yeah, it was good. I like the characters. I do love Miles Morales. I think he's a great character. I really like Gwen Stacy. They also um, had so much references to, like, the first Spider-Man game. I yeah. wasn't expecting that. Yeah, they had a lot of references to all Spider-Man things. The third one, because of Miles Morales, the third Spy uh, second Spider-Man game is coming out exclusively to the PS5 uh, soon. Yep. So um, They had some references to those games and a lot of TV shows. They had actually a lot of references to a lot of Spider-Man lore. Uh, so if you like Spider-Man lore, this is the movie for you. Um, I really like Gwen Stacy. I like that the first 20 minutes of the film... Is Gwen's background? I, I really don't like think, that. Yeah, I, it, I feel like it was just like why was she talking to her dad so much that they could have cut at least some of that out and not make the movie two hours. Yeah, minutes. there's a lot they could have cut out, especially a lot of the mopey "woe is me," you know. Yeah, emo. I like the fact that they even referenced it and called her emo yeah. towards the end. Um, there's a lot, I don't like superheroes that are mopey or, oh, I don't want to be a superhero. No, you got superpowers, great power comes great responsibility, get out there, do the job. Um, that's one reason I do like Miles in this movie, is because he's out there, he's doing the job. Um, there's a couple times he gets a little mopey, but not nearly as mopey as Gwen, which I really didn't like that much. I liked her backstory, and I like her as a character. I liked her a lot more in the first movie. Um, but as the movie got on... I liked her more and more, and I was, okay, that's the, the Spider-Gwen, the Gwen, the ghost spider, whatever they call her. 
um, I like that one more. So I did like her character quite a bit towards the end of the film, um, especially with, I don't want to say her resolution, because I think she had a nice resolution where, you know, you mentioned Infinity War. Infinity War did have an end. It wasn't, you know, a happy ending, but it was an end. So it was a complete story. And then Endgame was kind of a sequel, but, you know, added to that story. We knew that, that Endgame story. was going to be a thing, because yeah. they wouldn't leave us with just... Because there were still some people alive, so obviously there's going to be, like, they're going to go together. And also, at the end of the movie, Miss Mar uh, Marvel guy... Miss Marvel, yeah. This person got called, so we knew that there was going to be a sequel. Yeah. And also, it wasn't two hours and 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, I mean... And if, if it was, it didn't feel like it. I mean, we just saw Guardians Volume 3, which was a two-hour and 20-minute movie, but it didn't feel like it. Yeah, it did not feel like it. Cause at it all. Was, it was like... A complete story. Yeah. I mean, a complete story in the ending of that kind of trilogy. But this Spider-Man movie felt long, and there was a lot of... And I'm sorry, I never want to hear the phrase, let's do this one more time, again. Because they did that all throughout Into the Spider-Verse. And in this one, they kept doing it. Um, okay, let's do it. I got Big Brother Spider and now I'm Spider-Man. Blah, blah, blah. So if there's going to be another movie that's a part two of this across the Spider-Verse, are we going to have to sit through 15 minutes at the beginning of, let's do this one more time. I'm like, I'm tired of doing it one more time. Let's, we know it, we get it, let's go. Um, so they, they better, I, there better not be that in this next movie. because I thought it was funny. Oh, I couldn't. I, I was just tired of hearing it. I was tired of hearing the phrase. Um, I'm tired of, honestly, I'm tired of Spider-Man's backstory. We know it. Yeah, um, we know. There's been yeah. a movie before this. And it's tons then, like, of movies. Yeah. Yeah. Also, and the Spider-Verse already, already covered... Covered it all. ...every single... Yeah. ...backstory of the characters. Yeah, I did kind of like the purpose for this film was, you know, there's certain things that make Spider-Man Spider-Man, and that is in all universes. But I really enjoyed Miles going, you know what? That doesn't have to be true. That doesn't have to be but the case. But if it is, if if it doesn't have to be true, then the entire multiverse would collapse. So it maybe. does have to be. True. But maybe, maybe, maybe not. No. We don't know. No, no. <laughs> he already said he tried it. Okay. <laughs> well, we're gonna. We're, I guess we'll find out in the next one, um, which I know it doesn't lead me. You know, I want to see it because I'm a completionist. I want to hear the end of the story, but it better be really good payoff. Because if it's not, then this potentially has, a, I mean, for me, I don't know, probably for you too, maybe, but a potential for being a really unsatisfying film uh, because it doesn't have a, cl a clear ending. And, you know, pretty visuals and good action set pieces can only take you so far because there's a lot of blah, blah, blah in this movie. Um, the one thing I did like about it is a lot of the characters get pathos payoff, you know, and, and as far as... They go through nice little arcs. I, I love the spot. The spot ended up being really cool. He was weird. He was weird, but I really liked what he became. So part of that unsatisfying thing is we didn't get a clear resolution to that story. Um, and so, you know, and and people have said, well, the villains never really get totally beaten because they have to be, you know, in the next films or the next stories. But, but their story arc, as far as their, you know, what they're going to do, I'm going to do this. And then they get defeated and they can't do that. So, oh, they got to go on to the next thing. Um, but they have a completion. And this has no completion. This The spot just gained godlike powers, I guess. And, and then, then yeah. no one can stop him. So. And no one can stop him. So what's going to happen? Yeah. I mean, obviously, they're um, going to stop yeah, him. Yeah, because that's how movies work. Yeah. Even clearly. if it's the sequel. Which will be a, not even a... I don't I'm gonna call, call this next one a sequel. I'm going to call it a continuation of the story because that's yeah, what it is because this story did not it, end um, across the spider-verse but more but more yeah um apparently it's called beyond the spider-verse yeah. 2024 i'm probably yeah. gonna watch it we're probably gonna everyone's watch it. probably gonna watch it yeah. the ads by the way of um across the spider-verse said people are calling this the best spider-man movie of all time um no 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 no, no. just no. No. I mean, it has the most Spider-Mans in it, but that... that no, yeah, not, it has, yeah, it no. has Spider-Man in it, but it's yeah. not... The, it's, it's not the best. It's, um, it's not even a good one, I would say. It's okay. Uh, yeah. It's good if you like long movies with no uh, resolution, but <laughs> I don't think anyone likes it, except for um, psychopaths, so... Uh, a lot of people 
they love it. They're touting it as one of the best movies. There's talk about, no, it's oh, not. it's going to be nominated for Oscars and things. Oh, I hope um, not. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't care about the Oscars. I don't, I don't care about that. But a lot of people are just calling it the best thing. And I think it's just because it's new. And, and people are yeah. saying, oh, wow, this is a really great movie. And they haven't even watched it yet. Yeah. The, oh, by the way, that ad turned up before the movie came out. So. Yeah. Um, I wonder how critics like this one. Yeah. The, I mean, I haven't looked at, we don't look at critic scores usually, but we'll, maybe. But uh, it's, it'd be interesting to see the overall. I mean, uh, the mo movie's going to make a billion dollars probably because yeah. everybody's going to go see it. It's going to make a lot of money because, you and, know. Yeah. It is a good will... theater experience. Because it's visually very beautiful. Yeah. It really kinda, is. At some points, I was like, eh. Yeah, at some so, points, it's kind of... At some kinda... points, it looks like a drawing, which it is. Um, but, like, at some points, it's just bad bad drawings. And at some points, it's really good. But sometimes, it's really bad. Or sometimes, it's like, eh. Yeah. It's very mixed match in its animation style. And that kind of, I do appreciate the different animated styles that we see. Um... I do like the introduction of new characters. I loved, you know, um, Mikkel, or I can't remember his name, but um, 2099, Spider-Man 2099, Oscar Isaac did the voice, and he's supposed to be the bad guy, but then ends up, might not be a bad guy, but he might be the bad guy in the next one, who knows, who knows. I liked his character, I really liked his, his arc, kind of, and his driven purpose. Um, I really missed Spider-Man Noir, so I was happy to see at the very end Gwen gets some people to help her, and one of them is Spider Man Noir, and then Spider Ham, uh, <laughs> which was was and also so I the missed robot. him from the first movie. And the yeah, the robot. The robot. The oh, but did we do a review about Into the Spider Verse? We did not, so okay, we'll have to do so that we're sometime. Probably not gonna do that. Yeah, well, I mean, maybe, but um, uh, yeah, if they, I mean, I'll say this: how I found Into the Spider Verse not a rewatchable movie I wouldn't it's not something I'd want to rewatch a lot this one I'm definitely not yeah. going to want to rewatch a lot I'm probably I mean, going to rewatch it once and then yeah. regret my decision <laughs> yeah cuz or if it's it's a watching it when you're doing other stuff or every now and then you know um I'm not going it's not compelling enough to me to sit all the way through it again I'm definitely not going back to the theater to see this I probably uh, cuz it's will. it's too long yo you're going to go to the theater go see yeah it again? you're going to come with me uh, well, well our next theater experience is going to be a little bit different. What, um, wait, what? Because what? you're excited to see the next thing, and I do not want to see it, but you were... Oh, I can't believe it. Yeah. Okay. Um, um, yeah, we'll get to that next time, because I'm sure we'll review that. <gasps> uh, but you want to see it, and I love you, so we'll go. All right. Um, but overall, this one, people are going to go see it. That's it. People are going to go see it. So, you know, you're not watching this to, to make up your mind whether you're going to see it or not. And it's a good theater experience. But it's long, so get ready for that. It's so, very, very long. So, um, if you want to waste two hours and 20 minutes of your life, go <laughs> well, ahead. <laughs> yeah, it's it's very long. I would, you know, if you're not go interested in going to a theater, I'd wait till this is streaming. And then, you know, but if, if you know, if, if you like the first one, you'll like this one. But it's, uh, just be ready for an unsatisfying ending. There is no ending. Because, like, here... With Dungeons and Dragons, we weren't expecting anything. No. Nope. But it was a great movie. Yeah. And uh, this movie, we were expecting a lot because it took so long to come out. Yeah. And then. Yeah, it sucked. Um, <laughs> oh, it did suck. It didn't well. suck, it was trash. Oh, um, oh, 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 trash? Hey, it's at least better than suck. It wasn't a Star Wars prequel. It wasn't a Star Wars um, prequel. The, so, yeah. Um, out of 10, what are we going to do? What was that I don't know. I make weird faces. Okay, don't do that. What, out of 10, what would you give it? Uh, three. Three? <laughs> three? I, I say mm, bruh. Okay, I won't weird. say that. Um, I'm going to go six. Six? I'm going to go six. I'm going to go six. No, go three. No, I can't go three. Um, uh, you mean six divided by two? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no. I enjoyed a lot of the visual, and I love Gwen Stacy, you know, and she got... I think she had a good uh, ending. Not well, not ending. She's yeah, still alive. but did, I think her story arc I, I kind of enjoyed enough. I um, didn't really. And okay, I'll, I'll, give, like it, I'll give it. I'll give it. I like the characters. How about this? I'll give it a two. <laughs> um, I'll give it wow, a. Two. I'll give it a four. Give it a four. Give it a four. The four dad. Point, four point. I like the dad character a lot. I hate. I, I hate. Oh, which one? Uh, not Gwen's dad, but Miles' dad. Miles' uh, dad. Jefferson. He was weird. I didn't like him. I liked his character a lot. 
Um, I really did. I like the mom character, mom's character, the mom too. I like his whole family is great. Um, and we get the, the uncle comes back in a different, interesting, weird way. Uh, weird, when he meets his self, way. which was weird. But, yeah. uh, oh, I, I, spoiler. Yeah, I, we already said spoilers. We already said spoilers. I really enjoy the dad's character, um, and his, the dichotomy of what he has to go through. And I, I think I, I, as being a dad, you know, I like that kind of stuff. So I really think he's, he's pretty great. And there's a scene where they're interviewing, um, for a school, um, that I loved a lot. Uh, so it was, that was really great. Um, political commentary kind of stuff. like a coward but, <laughs> that was funny. yeah this when the spot first came on the show i like the spot and i guess the actor's name he was kind of out of the, out of the blue and he's yeah. like oh, i created you yeah. and that's weird. weird but um but overall good um you know i guess i guess 6 and 4 uh is a good uh, a good number good set of numbers i guess for our point of view but if you uh agree with us Go ahead and let us know. Uh, if you disagree, let and, us know, uh, too. Go watch it, because they need money to uh, make a better yeah, one. Ah, uh, ooh, interesting. Well, I'm assuming the other they one's are, already they done. Already <laughs> yeah, made. it's already made. Um, but I it's think... coming out in 2024. It's called Beyond the Spider-Verse. Yeah, I think they probably Whoa. made a long thing and then said, okay, how can we chop this in half? And I hope um, it's better. But they didn't. They should have, in the marketing, kept it to part one. I think that would have helped a lot of people getting angry because I've seen some reviews where people are very angry about the fact that it just doesn't end and it's yeah to be it's, it's like to be continued yeah. in the next probably three hour movie oh god I hope not that's if the it's one three thing three hours I'm not watching it. people come on man all you movie studios bruh two hours that's that's all we need we don't need no more um mm -hmm. I'll give a little shout out quick to the movie Air the Michael Jordan the Jordan the shoe story um, that Ben the Affleck shoe, directed. The shoe story. A, a. So that's all he's known for. No, yeah, well. Yeah, like, oh, yeah, uh, <laughs> uh, Michael Jordan. That's the shoe guy, right? The shoe guy, right? <laughs> but it was, a, it was a very good story, about maybe a little over an hour and a half at the most. Perfect timing. Perfect. Great. Awesome. Great. Loved it. Didn't wear out. It's welcome. Awesome you story. That? Yeah, it's actually on uh, Amazon oh, okay. Prime. Okay, right great. So I'm not going to watch it. Uh, you're not going to It's not a, sh a movie you'd probably like. Uh, but I, I actually enjoyed it a lot, so it was pretty good. All right, um, do you want to close them out? Keep on being awesome, and I'll see you all in the next one. Hey.